Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. A little bit of chilly day, about seven degrees centigrade. That's about 44 degrees Fahrenheit today. But taking out my R1250 GS Adventure for my first ride of 2022, uh, you know, the weather isn't getting better. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to wait for it to get better. Let's go ahead and ride. But as always, the first stop is to fill up a gas since this one is almost empty. I think I have about 100 kilometers uh, on it. So, you know, before we get started, let's go straight ahead to our favorite Shell State gas station and, you know, fill up gas there. This bike shouldn't have any issues starting since it was on battery tender. But uh, like I always say, on the first start moment of truth. And let's start it now. Wow, yeah, it was on battery tender, and uh, that's why, like I said, it shouldn't have an issue. Started smooth like a butter. Uh, let's give it a few minutes. I'm also trying and wearing these new sunglasses you see me wearing today. Uh, I got them from uh, Bobster. Uh, I didn't order them directly from there. I ordered it from Fort Nine. Uh, apparently, they carry these Bobster sunglasses. Since I don't have a sun visor in my helmet, uh, decided to try them on. They fit fine, uh, look good. Let's test it on the road to find out how they are. Gas today is about a dollar ninety-one cents for the Shell V Power Nitro, which is the ninety-one octane. And I'm assuming I'll be close to about a fifty dollars today, and hopefully no spilling. And as I was suspected, ended up spilling it. Ah, hate it, hate it. I don't know when will be a day when I won't spill. Forty-five dollars and ninety-six cents, and time to clean up. Oh. That's my new Garmin Nav 6 refresh that uh, Garmin sent me recently. So I had some issues with the Garmin that I got when I bought the bike. And then uh, Garmin ended up sending me, I called them, their customer service is pretty good. And they ended up sending me a refresh version. They said apparently that's uh, some new version. So I have to test it out and uh, I don't see, think there's much difference in terms of mapping just uh, the menu is slightly different with the new Garmin NAV6 uh, refresh apparently that's what they call it. The stomach is full of the bike, finally we can ride it now. Uh, and enjoy some good uh, ride I would say my tire pressures are a little bit low I need to fill them up apparently when the bike was uh, at home and I checked it was showing me my tire pressure is fine and typically you know when you start riding you get to know uh, how low your tire pressure is so about a few PSI is low front and back so once I get back home, I'll probably fill them up again. And whoa, feels good to be riding this beautiful bike again. This is my baby that will be going with me to the Arctic Ocean. Uh, as I discussed in my last video, big plans for a lot of things. I've ordered a new uh, seat for this bike. It's on its way, so it should be about two to three weeks before I get it. Uh, what else have I ordered? I've ordered, uh, I, which I've got already at home, uh, the next few videos will be all about installing the new accessories on this motorcycle. So I've got machine, art, moto, uh, fender extender from the front and the rear. I've got uh, cylinder protectors for, um, from machine, art, moto for this bike as well. And uh, got the headlight protector by Tourtech. 
a lot of uh, got another uh, headlight protector which is like a film and what else did I order yeah just these few uh, important accessories that I felt I really need before I can finally head down in July also like I said every time I'm out I'm testing one of the gear that I have for the last two rides I've been re um, testing my climb hard anger one piece suit especially that it's cold and the weather will be very similar to this when I uh, reach uh, Arctic Ocean so trying to get uh, you know used to or not used to I would say I'm trying to note down things that I need to wear as a protective layer under it so I'm warm throughout the ride when the weather is a little bit cold so today I wore uh, not just a full sleeve t-shirt but I wore uh, something more thicker than that and I'm still feeling very cold so um, I think I need to you know sort of wear like a sweater under this and uh, uh, the next time I'm out maybe I'll wear my other gloves that I'll be taking with me those are longer than this and that will definitely help beautiful uh, right as you can see in my side mirror here uh, back is I'm getting on the escarpment right now uh, one of the best roads to ride on never a dull day riding this the only thing is I'm so used to riding the gold wing <laughs> or I would say I love riding the gold wing there's no doubt about that that uh, you know that big huge windshield really gives you a lot of protection that's the beauty of Goldwing that windshield covers you all the way around uh, with this you have a lot of comfort the ride is very nice and enjoyable but a lot of wind hitting you as well and this is my windshield being on the highest position here Early, early spring or uh, sort of late spring I would say we've got this time but uh, hopefully the weather gets better this is the famous uh, abandoned uh, gas station I turn on the heated grips on to number three uh, since I was feeling a little bit cold and uh, it's definitely making a difference the suit is very very good I have to say the hard anger one piece suit is uh, very nice the only difficult part is getting it on i think i did i still have to get used to it but um, apart from that the one piece suit is very very good no issues whatsoever with it just getting on and getting off is i need to get used to it uh, once i get the hang of it i think that five minutes will get shortened up to about a couple of minutes and uh, should be good a little bit windy but a uh, nice ride uh, heading up again to the escarpment uh, we are on what's coming ahead is 22 side road I'm on regional road 25 right now you, which they also call it uh, Halton Hill only have 2200 kilometers on it since I got it last year uh, with my current trip this year I will probably be ending up on this one with about I would say close to 20,000 kilometers each way is about 7.7 seven, and I'm assuming you know a few thousand kilometers here that I'll be doing before heading down uh, there so definitely a, a long trip looking forward to it and looking forward to taking you all along with me to uh, enjoy the trip hopefully everything goes as planned even though I'm not planning much but a little bit that I'm planning is uh, hopefully everything goes as planned trees are still uh, like I said it's still cold so no the green is, is still missing on the trees will take about another couple of months at least there's no salt on the road and as long as there's no salt uh, it's always a fun day to ride out I just stopped here to show you this abandoned uh, gas station that I was telling about a while back they were even selling this property I don't know what happened with it but uh, yeah this is the famous 
We're in famous, I would say. Uh, abandoned gas station for some time now. Fries on the fly. <laughs> the sign says there. Full service. Just stop by here to quickly show you what it is. Interesting to see such places. Uh, always make me think what happened here behind the story. I'm sure it makes uh, all of you think the same too. We'll just quickly take some nice uh, a couple of pictures and uh, head back. All done with taking some nice uh, pictures and uh, one for the video. That was my reason of stopping here. And I love the biker community. While I was stopped here, someone, you know, stopped by just to ask me if I'm okay. <sighs> and, you know, it feels great to have such a great community who's always there to ask you if you're doing well or not. Enjoy some views. Uh, while I'm enjoying the ride these uh, Bobster sunglasses are pretty good I ordered two of them uh, one is a transparent one uh, just a plain simple white glass and uh, the other one was this uh, so great to be testing it out and uh, definitely totally would recommend it if anyone is looking to get uh, cheap sunglasses for riding, uh, definitely a great one to go for. Let me know in the comments below of this slight uh, issue that I have when I ride is the buzzing sound in my helmet if any of you out there are riding uh, your 20 you know GS adventure or GS and have the buzzing sound in your helmet at a certain speed or a certain angle I would say what do you do to avoid it I'm thinking to try earplugs for next time but I don't think that's gonna help because the buzzing sound is coming due to the wind flowing, uh, you know, somewhere through the helmet, I am assuming. But uh, let me know if you have a solution. Would uh, definitely love to look into it. That's one of the annoying things I find uh, while riding that, you know, that buzzing sound is, is not that pleasant. And sometimes when you are on the highway riding, it could be for a few kilometers as well. Uh, what do you do? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed my first ride video of this uh, BMW R1250 GS Adventure. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Especially like I said, the next few videos will be all the accessories that I'll be installing on the bike. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos thank you for all your support guys till next time ride safe take care and i'll see you in the next one